October the 9th, 2022. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue a special military operation. In the Kupiansk direction, the enemy, with the forces of two battalions of the 14th and 92nd mechanized brigades of the armed forces of Ukraine, reinforced by foreign mercenaries, made unsuccessful attempts to break through the defenses of Russian troops in the direction of populated areas. Kislovka, Kharkiv Oblast, and Kuzumivka, Luhansk People's Republic. All enemy attacks are repulsed. More than 50 Ukrainian servicemen, one tank, and nine armored fighting vehicles were destroyed. In addition, as a result of the fire defeat of the advancing reserves of the 92nd Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine in the area of the village of Zagoryukivka, Kharkiv region, Russian troops killed about 60 Ukrainian servicemen, two tanks, and three armored cars. In the Krasno-Limansky direction, the armed forces of Ukraine conducted reconnaissance of the front line of defense of Russian troops and did not take active offensive actions. In the areas of the settlements of Novovodina, Karmazinovka, and Makhivka of the Luhansk People's Republic, four Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance groups were detected and destroyed by artillery fire. 17 militants, two pickup trucks with heavy machine guns and one car were eliminated. In the Luhansk direction, enemy attacks were repulsed in the areas of the settlements of Verknikomenka and Beligorivka of the Luhansk People's Republic, Sporn, Verestovo, Yakovlevka, Soldar, Artemovsk, and Zaitsev Donetsk People's Republic. More than 120 Ukrainian servicemen, three tanks, Seven armored fighting vehicles and eleven vehicles were destroyed. In the Zaporoz high direction, the enemy made unsuccessful attempts to attack the positions of Russian troops in the areas of the settlements of Oktyabrskoy, Neskoknoi, and Yegorovka of the Donetsk People's Republic. All attacks by units of Russian troops were repulsed. About 100 servicemen of the armed forces of Ukraine, Two tanks, five armored fighting vehicles and six vehicles were destroyed. High-precision weapons of the Russian aerospace forces struck at the points of temporary deployment of units of foreign mercenaries Foreign Legion on the island of Kurditsya and the Special Purpose Brigade bars of the Ministry of Internal Affairs Ukraine near the city of Zaporoz High. In the Mykolev Krivirih direction, as a result of significant losses in manpower and equipment, the enemy did not undertake large-scale offensive actions. According to the updated data, only the irretrievable losses of the personnel of the 96th and 98th battalions of the 60th Infantry Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 128th Mountain Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, operating in the Krivirih direction, exceeded 30 per center of the list. In the area of the village of Novaya Kamenka, Kherson region, as a result of concentrated Russian artillery strikes on the advancing column of the 128th Mountain Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, an attempt to concentrate enemy troops was foiled. Five columns, manpower, military equipment, and artillery of the Ukrainian troops were also defeated in firing positions in the areas of the settlements of Chervon. Novofoskrizensk and Petropavlovka of Kherson area. The losses of the armed forces of Ukraine in this direction amounted to more than 80 Ukrainian servicemen killed, two tanks, 22 armored fighting vehicles, seven infantry fighting vehicles. The Polish self-propelled artillery installation Krab, two American howitzers M777 and four cars were destroyed. In the Andreev Sky direction, Russian troops repelled the attacks of two motorized infantry companies of the armed forces of Ukraine from the areas of the settlements of Belogorka and Davidov Broad of the Kherson region. Up to 90 Ukrainian servicemen, one tank, 12 armored fighting vehicles and three vehicles were destroyed. As a result of a high-precision strike by the Russian aerospace forces in the area of Bresnigovitoy, Mykolev region, an ammunition depot of the 61st Infantry Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, which stored more than 200 missiles for American rockets, was destroyed. Himars and Uragan multiple launch rocket systems. In just one day in the Mykolev Krivirih direction, the losses of the armed forces of Ukraine amounted to more than 200 Ukrainian servicemen, three tanks, 
41 armored fighting vehicles, 3 guns, and 7 cars. Strikes by operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops, and artillery hit the control points of the 14th mechanized, 81st Airmobile Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 9th Regiment of the National Guard of Ukraine in areas inhabited by Red Kaja points of Kharkiv region, Drobyshevo of Donetsk People's Republic and Zaliznikny of Zaporizhia region, as well as 47 artillery units in firing positions, manpower, and military equipment in 163 districts. Four warehouses of ammunition and rocket and artillery weapons were destroyed in the areas of the settlements of Novo Aleksandrivka in the Kherson region, Volnpol of the Donetsk People's Republic, Zaliznikny in the Zaporizhia region and in the, the eastern outskirts of the city of Zaporozhye. In the areas of the settlements of Kirovo and Drobyshevo of the Donetsk People's Republic, two American counter-battery radar stations and slash TPQ-37 were destroyed. Fighter aircraft of the Russian Aerospace Forces shot down a Su-24 aircraft of the Ukrainian Air Force near the village of Dobroi, Mykolev region, and a Ukrainian Mi-24 attack helicopter near the village of Myroli above Kikerson region. Air defense assets destroyed six unmanned aerial vehicles during the day, including one Bayraktar TB-2, in the areas of the settlements of Snezhyarevka, Mykolev region, Novomikhailovka, Novomirsk, and Blagovshchinksa of the Donetsk People's Republic and Ustinovka of the Kharkiv region. Four shells of the American multiple launch rocket system HIMARS were also shot down in the area of the village of Novokakhovka, Kherson region, and five shells of MLRS Uragan and Vilka in areas inhabited by Okhovitka points of Kharkiv region and Donetsk city. In total, since the beginning of the special military operation, 317 aircraft, 159 helicopters, 2,182 unmanned aerial vehicles, 379 anti-aircraft missile systems, 5,570 tanks and other armored combat aircraft have been destroyed. 866 combat vehicles of the multiple launch rocket system, 3,460 field artillery guns and mortars, as well as 6,431 units of special military vehicles.